Welcome to Rad Builds, everyone. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to build part four of the ODM gear, and those are the grapple guns. And then after that, I'm going to be showing you how I put everything all the way together. So, let's get to it. For this build, I used 10mm foam, 6mm foam, 4mm foam, 2mm foam, retractable badge holders, super glue, an X-Acto knife, a pencil, a paper towel, black pastel spray paint, silver spray paint, black paint, a paintbrush, a heat gun, the pattern in the description, as well as duct tape, fishing line, and a belt. In the key on the pattern, you'll notice there are different types of lines. And the solid lines are cut lines, the dashed lines are score lines, and the dotted lines with shading inside are optional cuts, and I'll explain those more later on. You'll also notice the piece number, as well as the thickness of foam, and the number of times you need to cut that piece out are labeled on the pattern. Now I am gluing the retractable badge holder inside of piece number one. Pause. The reason I added the optional cuts and had the retractable badge holder is because I wanted to make my swords be able to retract the belt like this. If you do not want this feature, then you do not need the badge holder or to make these cuts. Now I'm using super glue to glue piece number two over top of the badge holder and piece number one. Now I'm gluing piece number three around the smaller edge. And now I'm gluing piece number four around the bigger edge. Then I use super glue to glue a piece number 5 on the round part of piece number 4, and I did this on both sides. Now I am using an X-Acto knife to continue the score line from piece number 2 onto piece number 3. And again, I did this on both sides. After that, I use super glue and glued another piece number five on top of the score lines. And again, I did this on both sides. Once that was done, I glued piece number six inside the smaller edge and added a decorative score line. I repeated that entire process again to make a second grapple pen. Now I am super gluing piece number seven inside of the bigger edge. And then I glued piece number 8 on top of that. Then I glued a piece number 9 on the other end of piece number 8 and had the diagonal facing away from the grapple gun. After that, I repeated this process again for the other grapple gun. Now I am using a heat gun to seal the foam. This opens up the score lines which makes them more noticeable and readies the foam for paint. First I primed the foam with black plastic spray paint and then I painted the grapple guns with silver spray paint. Now I am gluing the grapple guns with super glue to the main unit. Now I'm using the paintbrush to mix the black paint and water to make black wash. Then I applied this mixture to the grapple guns. What black wash does when it is rubbed away with a paper towel, it makes the prop look more realistic and battle worn. Make sure you repeat this process for the other grapple guns and their straps. Now I'm making a strap for the main unit by laying a piece of duct tape on top of another, and now I'm cutting off the excess. Then I simply just attach this to the main unit.
I repeated this process to make smaller straps for the grapple guns. Now I'm going to be using fishing line. Now you can use any type of string you want, I just wanted fishing line because it was clear. But this fishing line gets fed through the hole I have between the gas chamber and blade compartment. And then after I pulled that out, I tied it into a knot to make a loop. And as you can tell, I repeated this process for the other one. To attach the grapple gun to the sword, I stabbed the side of the bottom of the sword with a toothpick and then slid the top of the retractable badge holder through the hole in the bottom of the sword and then slid the toothpick through. After that, I just used some scissors and trimmed off the excess of the toothpick. And of course, I repeated this process for the other sword. Now it's time to attach everything to the belt. To start, I used the duct tape and wrapped around the middle of the belt. Then I put the belt on and slid the belt through the fishing line loops on both the gas chambers and blade compartments. After that, I used the duct tape on the grapple guns to attach them to the belt. And once you have done this, the ODM gear is complete. Thank you everyone for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe and hit the thumbs up button to help other people find it. And if you want to check out some of my older videos, including the videos on the other parts of the ODM gear, you can find those videos on my channel, Rad Builds.